Stella Maris Academy, good morning. It's Father Paul again. Just want to assure you, I continue to pray that we be healthy and holy uh, in these times. And I know technically this week uh, was to begin spring break, but most likely our plans have had to change, and that can be tough. Uh, but I want to encourage us, you know, some new opportunities perhaps have opened up. This week is Holy Week. It's the holiest week of the entire year. The week that we see Jesus, who loves us so much, who's so good, go to Jerusalem to carry the cross in order to save us, to save the world. More than ever, this is a time for us to join Jesus, to be with Jesus as he carries the cross. And I know this is a longer video, but I would invite, you know, uh, all our students and, and families, this week, take the time, go with Jesus as he goes to save the world. station, Jesus is condemned. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Pilate, the judge, said, Look, here's your king. But the people yelled, Get rid of him, kill him. Should I kill your king? Pilate asked them. Yes, they yelled back, kill him. So Pilate allowed Jesus to be led away by the soldiers. Recite the following with your hand over your heart. If we had been there, Jesus, we would have begged Pilate to set you free. We would have yelled, let him go. He is a good man. But we weren't there. We are only here now remembering. Time to think and pray. Would I really have been brave enough to speak up for Jesus? What if Pilate had arrested me too? Here and now, do I have the courage to speak up for someone who is being treated unfairly? Jesus, teach me how to follow you. The second station, Jesus carries his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The soldiers led Jesus away as Pilate had ordered. They put a crown of thorns on his head. They beat him and then made fun of him. Then they laid a heavy cross on his shoulders and ordered him to carry it to a place called Calvary. His whole body ached and he was so tired he could hardly walk. Recite the following with your hand on your shoulder. If we had been there, Jesus, we would have carried that heavy cross for you. We would have told those soldiers, get back, leave him alone. Can't you see he's in pain? But we weren't there. We are only here now remembering. 
time to think and pray. Would I have dared talk back to a group of sword-carrying soldiers? What if one of them had pointed his sword at me? Here and now, what do I do when someone is wrongly blamed for something he or she didn't do? Jesus, teach me how to follow you. The third station. Jesus falls under the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus was so weak that he could not stand the weight of the cross. He fell to the ground. Perhaps as he lay there, weak and in pain, he remembered the words of Job. I have rubbed my face in the dust, and it is red with tears. My breath grows weak, and I can feel that the grave is waiting for me. But the soldiers had no compassion. They pulled Jesus up and pushed him forward. Recite the following with one knee on the floor. If we had been there, Jesus, we would have made sure you didn't fall. We would have walked beside you and given you strong arms to lean on. But we weren't there. We are only here now remembering. Time to think and pray. Would I have wanted to touch Jesus and get blood and dirt on my clothes? What if someone had seen me like that? Here and now, what do I do when my friends laugh at me for helping someone? Jesus, teach me how to follow you. The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Mary was following Jesus as he carried the cross, watching him stumble along. She must have remembered what the old prophet Simeon had said to her, Mary. Your sorrow over this child will be great. It will be as if a sword is piercing your heart. Now the soldiers were allowing Mary to talk to Jesus. She had only a moment, and there was so much she wanted to say. She knew then exactly what it felt like to have a pierced heart. Recite the following with your hand over your heart. If we had been there, Jesus, we would have formed a circle around you and Mary to let you talk as long as you wanted. We would have held out against anyone who tried to push us away. But we weren't there. We are only here now remembering. Time to think and pray. Would I have dared to get in front of an angry crowd of people? What if I had been pushed down and hurt? Here and now, what do I do when someone shoves me or a friend out of line? Jesus, teach me how to follow you. The fifth station. Simon helps Jesus carry the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Simon was an African who had come to Palestine to work in the fields. He had settled there, but people still called him a stranger. And so it was Simon who was called upon to help with the cross. The soldiers grabbed him and pushed him toward Jesus. He must have thought, why me? Is it because I'm different that they're making me do this? When he saw how much Jesus needed his help, however, he quickly lifted up the cross. Recite the following with your hand on your shoulder. 
If we had been there, Jesus, we would have taken turns carrying the cross so that you wouldn't have had to carry it all. And we would have let Simon go on by. But we weren't there. We are only here now remembering. Time to think and pray. Maybe the others would have taken turns carrying the cross, but would I? What if I had hurt myself? Here and now do I respond eagerly when my parents or teachers ask me to help with difficult chores. Jesus, teach me how to follow you. The Sixth Station Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Veronica saw Jesus, and she ran forward to wipe the blood and sweat from his face. Who was she? Maybe one of those women who had followed Jesus as he went from town to town preaching. Whatever her connection, here she was simply helping Jesus, and she received in return the gift of Jesus' friendship. What better gift could anyone have? Recite the following with one hand on your face. If we had been there, Jesus, we would have done just what Veronica did. We would have wiped your face with soft, warm cloths and then put bandages on your open wounds. But we weren't there. We are only here now remembering. Time to think and pray. Would I really have dashed out toward Jesus with all those people around? What if someone had made fun of me? Here and now, what do I do when someone gets hurt on the playground or gets sick on the bus? Jesus, teach me how to follow you. The seventh station. Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus fell again under the weight of the cross. It must have been horrible to fall down in front of so many people. Maybe Jesus felt like Jeremiah the prophet who cried out, I am in anguish. I feel great pain. My heart is throbbing. And yet, what could Jesus do? The soldiers forced him to get up and pushed him on his way. Recite the following with one knee on the floor. If we had been there, Jesus, we would have demanded that the cross be removed from your shoulders. We would have told the soldiers, can't you see he's had enough? But we weren't there. We are only here now remembering. Time to think and pray. Would I have made demands in such a dangerous situation? What if the soldiers had pushed me back? Here and now, what do I say or do when I know that a grown-up is doing something wrong? Jesus, teach me how to follow you. The Eighth Station Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A huge crowd was following Jesus, including some women who were crying and weeping for him. Jesus saw their tears and said to them, Don't shed tears for me. Cry instead for yourselves and your children. The women must have wondered what Jesus meant. He was the one carrying the cross, yet he was asking them to weep for themselves. Recite the following with partially covered eyes. If 
we had been there, Jesus, we would have told the women, don't you understand? It is sin, our sins, and your sins that Jesus wants us to cry over and to be sorry about. But we weren't there. We are only here now remembering. Time to think and pray. Would I have understood Jesus any better than the women of Jerusalem? Would I even have tried? Here and now, I'm sorry for the pain I cause others through the selfish things I sometimes do. Jesus, teach me how to follow you. The ninth station. Jesus falls the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Once, twice, and now for the third time, Jesus falls to the ground. He must have been extremely weak to lose his balance so often. It was only his faith in God that kept him going. In the garden of Gethsemane, he had prayed, Father, let this pass from me, but your will, not mine, be done. Now the soldiers forced Jesus up again and pushed him on his way. Recite the following with one knee on the floor. If we had been there, Jesus, you would not have fallen again. We would have held you up and supported you in every way we could. We would have picked up the cross ourselves, but we weren't there. We are only here now remembering. Time to think and pray. Would I have helped carry the cross with the others? What if it had fallen on me and hurt me? Here and now, what do I do when someone old or sick could use my help? Jesus, teach me how to follow you. The tenth station. Jesus is stripped of his clothing. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. By this time, Jesus was so weak, he was unable to resist anything the soldiers did to him. They cruelly ripped off his clothing, and they quarreled over who would have it. For his part, he made no resistance, neither did he turn away. The Lord God came to his help so that he was untouched by their insulting behavior. Jesus stood there stripped and humiliated waiting to be nailed to the cross. Recite the following with one hand behind your back. If we had been there, Jesus, those soldiers wouldn't have laid a hand on you. We would never have allowed them to touch your clothing or to humiliate you in any way. But we weren't there. We are only here now remembering. Time to think and pray. Would I have even followed Jesus that far, much less demanded that the soldiers back off? Here and now, what do I do when someone is being made fun of at school? Jesus, teach me how to follow you. The Eleventh Station Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The soldiers nailed Jesus to the cross. and They also nailed two other men to crosses, one on each side of Jesus. Pilate had written a notice to be put on the cross of Jesus. It said, Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. The leaders protested that Jesus wasn't really their king, but Pilate would not change what he had written. 
So the soldiers raised the cross upright with Pilate's sign on it. Recite the following with your right arm outstretched. If we had been there, Jesus, we would have told the leaders, don't you realize who this is? He's not a criminal. He hasn't disobeyed your laws. He's Jesus, God's own son. But we weren't there. We're only here now remembering. Time to think and pray. Would I really have protested what was happening to Jesus? What if the leaders had gotten angry with me? Here and now, do I ever speak out for people who are left out and being treated unfairly? Jesus, teach me how to follow you. The Twelfth Station. Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. As Jesus hung on the cross, he cried out, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they are doing. From a crowd of people standing nearby, someone yelled, you saved others, now save yourself if you are God's chosen one. The soldiers made fun of him too. At last, Jesus cried out again, Father, into your hands I place my spirit. After he said this, he died. Recite the following with your head bowed. If we had been there, Jesus, we would have pushed the people back from the cross. We would have knelt beneath it and prayed with you. But we weren't there. We're only here now remembering. Time to think and pray. Would I really have knelt beside the cross for all the world to see? Would I, like Jesus, have asked God to forgive the soldiers and the crowd? Here and now do I pray for those who hurt me. Do I really forgive with all my heart? Jesus, teach me how to follow you. The 13th station. Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A man named Joseph from the town of Arimathea went to Pilate and asked for permission to remove the body of Jesus from the cross. He placed Jesus in Mary's arms, and together they wrapped the body in a linen sheet. Filled with sorrow, Mary looked at the body of her son. She had loved and cared for him, and now his life was over. Recite the following with one hand over your heart. If we had been there, Jesus, we would have done just what Joseph did. We would have taken your body down from the cross with dignity and with love. And we would have comforted Mary and stayed with her. But we weren't there. We are only here now remembering Time to think and pray. Would I, like Joseph, had admitted being a follower of Jesus? What if Pilate had arrested me? Here and now, what do I do to show that I am a Christian? Do I ever try to hide my faith from others? Jesus, teach me how to follow you. The 14th station. Jesus is placed in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. 
Joseph of Arimathea carried Jesus' body to a grave that had been carved out of a rock, a grave that had never been used. After he put the body inside, he rolled a stone to cover the entrance. Slowly and sadly, Mary, who had gone to the tomb with Joseph, left her son there, believing that she would never see him again. Recite the following with one hand outstretched. If we had been there, Jesus, we would have helped carry your body to the grave, and we would have put our own pillows and blankets beneath it. But we weren't there. We're only here now remembering. Time to think and pray. Would I really have given up my own pillow or my blankets, even for Jesus? What if I had been unable to get any others? Here and now do I give up any of my comforts to help those in need. Jesus, teach me how to follow you. Three days later, Jesus, we know that after you died on the cross, your body was placed in the tomb. But on Sunday morning, when some of the women who had followed you went to the tomb, your body was gone. Two figures in bright clothing said to them, Why are you looking among the dead for one who is alive? He is not here. He has risen. Excited and full of joy, the women ran to tell the disciples and Mary. Recite the following with one hand and arm in the air. If we had been there, Jesus, we would have shouted for joy. We would have run with the women and called out the good news. Jesus is alive. He is risen. Come to the grave and see. We would have hugged Mary and gone with her to the empty tomb. There with her, we would have prayed our thanks. Time to pray. We praise you, God, for raising Jesus from the dead. We thank you for the great gift of his life and ours. Help us to believe in the resurrection and to keep following Jesus all of our lives. Amen.